More than 5,000 times last year, it took Dane County operators longer than 40 seconds to answer 911 emergency calls. That's an average of 15 times each day. It's the latest data uncovered by News 3 investigative reporter Adam Schrager, and he joins us now with more details. Adam. Eric, over the last couple of months, the data has trickled in as we've tried to quantify just how big a problem we had with long wait times at the 911 center. Yesterday, the data faucet opened up, and what we found shows a system that struggled to simply answer the phone quickly over all of last year. Nearly 5,500 times last year, a phone rang at Dane County's 911 center, and it wasn't answered for at least 40 seconds or longer. 218 of those times, it took longer than two minutes. For someone to pick up. It would have been good to know back in 2013 that we were going down that road. Maple Bluff Fire Chief Josh Ripp runs the board which oversees Dane County's 911 center. The numbers were news to him. We broke down the long wait times by hour and found answer delays were worst at 7 in the morning and at 8 at night. We'll have to look into that a little more. Take a look at the staffing models and how you know how the um, employees are, how they switch around, how shift changes are done. It could be something as simple as that. As the board struggles to figure out ways to get 911 calls answered faster, Rip says he'll use these numbers as benchmarks and examples of what not to do going forward. It's bad, and I don't want to discount them at all, but what's in the past is in the past. We've made changes. We're moving into the future and trying to make this better. The numbers also show a spike in answer time delays last summer. The months of May through September are by far the worst. County Executive Joe Parisi has asked the 911 center to staff up during this time of year going forward. So, Adam, if the head of the 911 center board didn't know the true extent of the issues here, what does that say about the future of the director, John DeYoung, here? Well, the 911 center board is going to start its performance review of DeYoung since its first one since 2010 and its meeting tomorrow. Chief Ripp says he sees both good and bad in the 911 center director. Meanwhile, the county board is set to approve DeYoung's five-year contract renewal at $142,000 per year at its meeting on Thursday. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. Adam Schrager. Adam, thank you. Thank you.